Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 24. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, it's another day. I'm still a little bit shaky from the last episode. If you guys haven't checked that out, check it out. That was the most intense final race ever in the uh, 125 competition model. Literally down to the last corner. That was insane. But what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going from the TZ125 and we're going to the TZ250. And this is the 250cc competition model series. Same as the last one just with a different bike and um, this we're going to be going around the Suzuka circuit the entire track then around the entire twin ring Mategi and then to Infineon Raceway we haven't actually done a race like a proper race at Infineon yet so it's going to be cool to try that out but let's go to Suzuka right welcome to the Suzuka circuit with the Yamaha TZ250 let's see how well this goes and let's see if I have a heart attack again because uh, the last one, the last sort of race, was very intense. It was absolutely crazy. We're obviously on a quicker bike. Which is pretty cool to see, actually. Not a great fan of these corners in races because I'm not as quick as the other bikes. And the fact is, driving lines on bikes are slightly different because you can't you can't follow them as easily on a bike. And there is no driving line in this game, so makes it a little bit difficult. But so far, we got the first overtake. We're looking for 8.4 seconds over the entire duration of this race to gain. Which uh, shouldn't be too difficult. That is an average of about two per lap. Very nice. It is now raining outside my window. Okay, that wasn't great. So, that corner, the braking zone is much earlier than stated. We will have lost time, probably. About seven seconds we're at now, I'd say. Seven and a half. 6.6. I'm impressed by that. We've gone very wide there. Okay, so I am very nervous about this corner specifically because the amount of times I have overshot that. Um, doing the S license took me about 10 attempts around this circuit because I kept falling off at either the spoon corner, the um, hairpin corner, or um, the chicane. Because the chicane is not in the same place as it is in racing cars. It is slightly further back. And so you have to try and get a further back breaking point to get the best the best speed through the corner without overshooting it. Oh not cool. Trying to ruin my race here. At least I now don't have to fight with any bikes, so I can have free air to try and gain positions. I hear a bike behind me. There is one. Okay, 4.5 seconds, so we have plenty of distance to gain that easily. Yeah, that's also another worrying corner is this one. And this one. 
And in fact, all of them on Suzuka, probably. Awesome. I would love to go around Suzuka, honestly. It would be so amazing to go around Suzuka or Sakuba in a Skyliner R34 or an R32. If I could do that one day in my life, I would be a happy person. Jeez, it's raining heavy outside. Perfect. Nice. Question is, how much time did we lose through that final section? We actually gained half a second. Wow. No. Okay. Woo, that was close. I've sort of gotten better at controlling the bike off-road than controlling it on-road. So, uh, managed to easily correct that wobble there. One, two, three. About three seconds behind right now. Two and a half to three seconds. I think it's about two and a half, maybe two seconds now. 2.2. Some very good predictions there. Obviously, this is lap number three, though. We want to overtake them on lap four. So that we've got a lap of... Woo, that was close. We lost at least a second there. Maybe half a second. But uh, we want to clean a lap of air so that we don't have to worry too much about uh, losing time. Because we'll know we're ahead, so we'll have safety. We're going to be at like three seconds now. It's not going to be less. It can't be. Still only 2.2 seconds though. Oh, that was horrendous. That was a good corner until the second part of that chicane. 2.2 seconds again. That entire lap was 2.2 seconds behind. But it was mistake after mistake for us. Awesome. Let's see. Can we do a lap where we have no mistakes and catch up with this biker? Because I really don't want a repeat of last episode where I have a stressful final race. Knowing that it's all on the line for that one race. Awesome. Perfect. And there we go. We are in the lead by 0.4 seconds. We are still in game over territory, though, if we crash, though. So we need to watch out. Big time. Like then. It's a very dodgy corner. And we've definitely got a bike trying to hunt us down now.
Yeah, that was a horrific corner as well. You can see them just behind us trying to go. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, and we've gone wide. Nice. Our tyres are looking a bit worn out, surprisingly. But uh, I'm guessing the AI might suffer a little bit more with tyre wear compared to us. A lot of games AIs do suffer a lot because they don't know how to push it. Push it real good. Bum 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 Awesome. This is gonna be a good first race. Come on, stick it to the road. Awesome. The other biker is in the same position I was in on lap number three. Right, let's hope this goes well. That was amazing. The amount of time we have just gained through that section there. Awesome. Let's see how this final section goes. It's all down to this chicane. If we mess it up, it's game over. And I got my reference point just right. Oh, they caught up quick though. Not quick enough though. Goodbye. I'll take the win. That was very good. 11.42 that took. That was a long race. I have a feeling next episode is going to be even longer. So I think I may have to split that championship into two. But yeah, that was a very good first race. GG. Right, welcome back to the Twin Ring Mategi Road Course. Let's go and do another race. We've just been here. This was the final race of the last episode and it was insane. It was the craziest race I've ever done. And I have a feeling we'll probably end up doing something just as crazy today. We had one crash. That's all we had. Two dodgy corners. So we're looking at just before the 100 meter board. About 120 meters. We need to get ourselves like a reference point for that corner because that is the only corner where the gear reference doesn't work. And so far we're already two seconds quicker than last time. So we have less time to actually that we need to gain throughout this race. I have a feeling though these laps are going to be much quicker based on the fact that we are on a quicker bike. Just a hunch. Yeah, look at that. Get an amazing exit out of that corner there. 
the fact is, between the uh, fairly short loading screens, I've been doing like one drag race on drag racing on mobile. I used to play that game so much. It's just so cool. And the fact is, I've got a decent phone that can actually play it in 60 FPS now, so it's groovy. If any of you are like OG racing people that know drag racing on mobile, let me know in the comments, because that is like a classic game by Creative Mobile. Absolute classic. Oh my gosh, this bike can do wheelies. That is insane. Let's try not to do wheelies today, though. Because we have a race to win. Absolutely insane exit out of that corner there. Looking at the 120. Perfect. That was an amazing corner there. Oh, a little bit off-road there. But not too bad. You can see the tiny little dot of a bike just in front of us. And it grows in size as we get closer to it. And then shrinks. As we get onto the straight. Awesome. Go, go, go. Awesome. This is really good. This is really good. We are going to get into first place before the third lap. I think the annoying... Well, not the annoying part, but the fact that stressed me out so much in... Ooh, uh, that was close. In the uh, last episode was uh, the fact that <laughs> we were so close to failing. Awesome. Looking for that break-in zone. Awesome. Surprisingly, this race is going to take a lot shorter than the last time, I think. We're saving ourselves about 10 seconds per lap. 10 to 12 seconds. Which is very impressive. Because I thought the other bikes were quick, but uh, apparently these are just insanely quick. And there are even quicker ones that will do a 140 on this track. That was horrific, that section of corners there. Awesome. Oh. There we go, nice. Getting some very good corners here. Let's have a look behind us. It's a very awkward button to press. Um, because it's circle in this game. Uh, the um, Obviously, to change gears isn't the same buttons as Gran Turismo. It's the ones above. The uh, R1 and R2. L1? L1 and R1, not L2 and R2. So yeah, slightly more interesting. Horrific lap time, look at that. And we got a horrific first corner as well. Nearly falling off of our bike. We're managing to keep it composed.
Awesome. Can I do a wheelie, please? Nope. Apparently not. Oh, nice. Got a bit wide on the corner there. We're taking a very good entry through here. It's very weird doing bike games. Because it's not something I normally do. Definitely isn't something I normally do. And it shows. Awesome. Come on, come on. Nice. Perfect. Look at that. <sighs> Onto the final lap, and we've messed up the first corner. Bugger. Okay, but we are back. Just about. There we go. We got the good braking zone there. You can see the massive oval circuit there as well. The Mategi course would be a lovely track to go around as well. Imagine spectating like the Mategi circuit, because they can have two races going on at the same time. In theory. You could have like two full on races. You can have a Grand Prix going on at the bottom and NASCAR going on at the top. And I think this track would be compatible for an F1 circuit. Just because it's very flat. Like this downhill section isn't enough to class it as... Because F1 circuits do more extreme than this. Awesome. I feel like the Mategi circuit would be a great F1 track. I really do. But there we go. Across the finish line. I can imagine someone's mapped this track in a set of course and taken an F1 car around it to see. But like... I think it would be a good track. It would be a very good track. But there we go. The Yamaha TZ, whatever it is, 250. Finished around the twin ring. Let's go to the next race. Right, we are now here at the Infineon Raceway. Look at that. Cars, the bikes are already at the first corner. So we've got a huge amount to try and gain. a very nice first corner there. You have to go on the curb quite aggressively for that. But that is why that corner has a very wide curb. Again with that section there as well. Got to go very wide. This uh, version of Infineon looks so much different to Forza Motorsport 4's version. 
obviously the same layout, roughly. But uh, the elevation change seems to be a little more extreme on Forza Motorsport than Gran Turismo. Oh, and it's not taking the Indy circuit. It's taking the different route. That is interesting. The fact that all these games, they have a track. They design all of the layouts. They design the track so it looks as realistic as possible. So they have to put the extra routes in. Right, but... They don't make it as the track is. And don't have every single layout. Which is interesting. Why don't they do that? Because they could have every single layout. Or even... Right, and hit me out here. This would be amazing. Custom layout. So you can choose what way you want to go around the circuit. Because I'm pretty sure you can make your own way. And you just switch what road you want to go down. Do you want to go down this road to go straight on? Or do you want to go to the side? You choose. Unbelievable. No. No. That's a 10 second penalty. That's my race ruined. Unbelievable. There is no way I'm catching that back up. Not in three laps. I mean, I did nearly have it in two. So. But the gap is now larger between each vehicle. Ah, uh, unbelievable. Why did the game do that? It's not penalty worthy if you fall off. We need to really try hard now. Okay, he's gone wide, which is going to slow him down, giving me a chance to get round here. Right, that's one bike down. Let's go to bike number two. See if we can get them. We have to come second. We can come second and still um, win this championship. Look at that though. Five seconds already. That is insane. And obviously the win gets us the maximum 30 points. So we're looking for... Okay, it's going to be a push. Uh, obviously, the first section I am not great at, as you can tell. But definitely, once we get down to here, I'm so much quicker. We've had another intense final race. Technically, this route as well wouldn't go this way. It would come sh just go straight on and then come down that road to the side. Which is why I'm mentioning the uh, layouts and that. Because that is not how it would be. And that is not how you would take a corner either. So I just ruined all of that chance as well. Right, two laps left to go. Let's try and do this lap without falling off to see if we can catch up. Two seconds per lap is what we need to gain. Very good corner through there. G, G.
very good corner through there. We've nearly gained our two seconds that we need for this lap to get the win. Awesome. Can we do a switcheroo? Definitely hit a couple of cones there. If you couldn't tell. The fact that we don't have to take that corner while braking. Uh, we go down this straight section towards the back. It's so much better. And the bike has gone wide, which means we can take the lead now. Awesome. Okay, final lap. Now, this is maintaining. There is no need to overtake. Just maintain. Oh. Awesome. What has just happened there? Okay, okay, we're trying to stay in the lead, trying to stay in the lead. We hit the curb on the inside and it flew us so far in the air. Awesome. Coming towards the finish of the Infinium Raceway. Let's go. That was the most stressful win. Or oh, maybe second most stressful. The last one was the most stressful. In the... Uh, last episode very nice we got oh gosh we got the win we got the win and here we go riding gear unlocked what do we get we got a nice new helmet okay and we got the YSP and Presto racing oh oh nice we got special gear as well. Another special bike. That is awesome. And we got a special racing number as well. That is pretty cool. Obviously turning it from 69 to 1 because number 1 means we are the winners. Very good. And there we go. Sweet. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have an Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.